Da -da 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 -da. What's up, everybody? It's Jimmy Grappone here uh, with JCAR Carolina Living, and I want you to hold one of these. We bought with Jimmy G, or we sold with Jimmy G. All right, so today I'm starting out a brand new series. It's called Five Homes That I Would Love to Sell. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, these are not my listings. I do not have these listings, but I do work with buyers throughout the Charlotte area. And these are homes that are currently on the market today, March 24th, 20, 2022. So if you're someone who's thinking about buying a home, you're not actively working with a realtor, love to have a conversation with you and talk about how we can make your home dreams a reality. So let's jump into uh, a little information about the tour real quick. First off, we've got five properties included on this tour. Average days on market is 47 days. They range in size anywhere from 1,400 square feet to over 8,800 square feet. And we have anywhere from three bedroom homes to eight bedroom homes. And this is the map of the area. So we can see, you can see that we're in South Charlotte. We have some that are in Mecklenburg County. Uh, this one's in Union County as well as this one here. Uh, this one looks like it's in South Carolina as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into the tour. So starting out, we're going to start out at 3904 Sparrow Way Court. And let me just give a little brief description of the home here. Home was built in 1997, 1,400 square feet, three beds, two baths. It <clears throat> is listed by Reinhardt Realty Corporation. So Jamie Leggett is actually the listing agent. It's a four-sided brick ranch home with a garage located uh, near Parkwood Middle and High Schools. Home has been lovingly maintained by one owner. So the same people have owned this house for what, 25 years, it sounds like. Uh, beautiful community of about one acre home sites with no HOA. Kitchen has newer stainless appliances. The roof is 11 years old and the furnace and AC are 12 years old. And you see the pictures kind of going in the background right here. I'm going to blow this up so we can see it up close and personal. All right, so four brick sided home. This is the backyard. This is a well and septic, has a shed in the back. This looks like a propane tank. And there's a, uh, a shed, I mean, I'm sorry, a, a back deck with a pergola over top. Um, interesting story, we had one of these in the first house that I grew up in. And as a little kid, I used to play on top of it and pretend that it was a submarine and I had a stick and I was harpooning waves. So just a side note, interesting story. Uh, speaking of side notes, here's a side load garage on this home. So this is great. So three bedrooms, two baths. So um, here's the kitchen. Not having the HOA and having that, um, that acreage. If you have like a camper or RV or something like that, this is a great home you'd be able to store that on. So if somebody who likes to travel a lot, um, check out the vaulted ceilings in the great room. So this is a view from the dining room into the great room. This is the dining room itself. The great room right off the front entryway over here. If I can get my mouse over there, there we go. Again, the dining room, here's the owner's suite. And I've got five homes to sell, so I'm going to move through some of the pictures fairly quickly. If you have any specific questions about any of these homes, definitely reach out directly to me. You can uh, reply to this video. You can call or text me at 704-313-8514. You can also send me an email to jimmygraponyrealtor at gmail.com. Uh, this is the backyard. Cute little porch, like I said. It's got the pergola hanging over right here. Lots of pretty flowers. Home has been well maintained by all appearances. Uh, great privacy. Look, it's basically it's within a fortress of trees here. So um, you got a lot of privacy in here as well. And there you go. So let's jump out of this home. There we go. And we're back into the main presentation. And we're going to go to our next house. So this one is going to be 8901 Clavemore Glen Court, five bedrooms, no uh, zero days on market. So this one went, up, went live today, March 24th. And this one is in the, the Ballantyne area of South Charlotte. The specs on it real quick. Uh, built in 2015, five beds, six bathrooms total with five, five and a half baths actually. 
4,818 square feet, three car garage, listed for $1.45 million when active today, listed by Alan Tate South Park. Uh, this agent I know as well, Tony Frantilla, he's the listing agent on this one. And as he says in his description, these opportunities do not come around often. Centrally located in one of the best spots in Charlotte, minutes to South Park or Ballantyne, Matthews or Pineville. It's an easy trip to I-45. And from this neighborhood, there are miles and miles of sidewalks that will connect to the Greenway, the park, and shopping. So here's a couple pictures of the outside. I'm going to blow this up just like I did with the last one so we can see the pictures in more detail. So this is a beautiful exterior. I love the brick and the stone uh, accents here. And this is looks like a uh, hardy plank siding right there. It's sort of a cedar shaped look. Very elegant, very uh, very attractive entryway. And here's the here's the entryway. And you'll notice, and you'll see this throughout the house, the crown molding throughout. You've got the chair roll chair rail um, right here. Beautiful hardwood floors. You got a nice curved stairway uh, right here in the foyer, which you can see right here. Dining room, butler's pantry, you're going to have a kitchen off to the side. Two stories, um, wow, two stories in the dining room it looks like here. Living room. And here's your butler's pantry. This is so cool right here. I love a coffered ceiling and then having the, the wallpaper on the ceiling is a really nice touch as well. Got the stone fireplace with the TV mounted over top. Great entertainment space. Nice big open kitchen. Huge kitchen island here. You've got uh, nice stainless steel appliances as well. There's another look at the kitchen. And this is cool too. So you're, you're open actually from the kitchen uh, into the living area. So when you're hanging out, always, always uh, use the scenario when you're watching the football game or Hey, maybe you like the bachelorette. I don't know. Whatever you're watching, you can you can be in the living in the kitchen. You can be in the family room. You can have a party. Everybody can interact. This is cool little office area downstairs. An office nook, great for uh, if you have students in the house who need to study, or if you want a little family office to pay your bills and, and such. Uh, drop area in the mud room here, right off the garage. Here's one of the bedrooms. And here we are on the second floor. This is a loft, so you have another den living area and you have built-in shelves there. And one of the secondary bedrooms. So like I mentioned before, it's got five and a half baths. So you've got a lot of, several full baths. So this is gonna be uh, the primary owner's bath here. You've got uh, separate vanities. You've got a nice large soaking tub and you have a walk-in shower with a the seamless glass door, walk-in closets, it's another bedroom with its own bath. This is cool right here, it's, it's, it's essentially like chair rail, uh, but it's, it's higher up on the wall. It's pretty cool. I love details like that. Anytime you have details like that in a house, like I said, crown molding is everywhere. Check out these, uh, check out the wall right here. This accent wall in the house. So this home is very, very custom made. So this is, this looks like it is the bay, um, the third bay for the, for the garage where they have a gym set up. Has its own bathroom down here. How cool is that? Now this folks, this is my favorite part of the whole house. And this is the outdoor living area. So you can see the covered patio. Um, you've got an outdoor kitchen. This folks right here that is actually uh, field turf. So the grass is actually not even real grass. So it's very low maintenance and they've got a beautiful pool back here. This is just check out this view on this next one. This is the dream backyard. Check that out. I could not, I don't think I could design a better backyard. I just don't. So, and these are just some area pictures as well. So you can see it's in the South Charlotte area and these are just some nearby amenities. All right, let's jump back out of this one and we'll go to our next home, 6724 Fairhope Court. This one is 3,220 square feet, five bedrooms, listed for $650,000, hit the market yesterday. 
uh, with Colwell Banker Realty. So this one was built in 1993. Uh, five bedrooms, three baths, so two full, so two and a half baths here, 3,200 square feet. And what other information do we have? This one is in Hunter's Gate. Picture perfect home and desirable Hunter's Gate. Walkable community for living, for shopping, dining, and entertainment in Blakeney. Large level fence yard with huge screen porch. Open floor plan with updated kitchen that opens to the oversized family room. Eat in the bre eat in breakfast area, walk-in pantry, an island with bar seating. Dining room with a classic butler's pantry, living room, office with French doors, and more. So I'm going to jump out into the full screen view here so you can take a look at the kitchen nice and up close you can see from the kitchen here we can actually see into the family room and interact with guests in there you have a, a breakfast area dining area dining or not a dining room but where most people actually have most of their meals i gotta go back here and show this picture again so check this out right here a beautiful screen porch um, Sort of a curved ceiling, it looks like. My in-laws had a screen porch like that um, in their previous house. And those things, you, you just can't beat a, a really good screen porch for outdoor living and hanging out. So this is the main entryway. You've got the gray carpet going up the stairs. Looks like hardwood everywhere else downstairs. Family room. I'm seeing crown molding in most of these rooms throughout the house. So really cool detail there. Again in the kitchen, got granite countertops, and you got this subway tile backsplash, white cabinet, stainless steel appliances. There's a dining room there. It's a pretty cool chandelier. Butler's pantry, you got your wine glasses with a mirror. Powder room. Owner's suite. So the king size bed, so you can tell there's a lot of space on either side. Really nice bath. I love the walk-in shower. Some more secondary bedrooms here. There's a loft, another or bonus room, I would call this actually. There's the laundry room. Again, the backyard. And there's a nice picture of the back of the house. So you can see the screen porch, the deck, the patio back here. And there's the front of the house again. And I think we're, yeah, we're back to the beginning of the tour. So let's hit the escape button, jump back in. The Whoops. There goes the sign. So that's a reminder, folks. When you, when you work with me, when I help you buy or sell a house, you get to hold this sign. If it's a listing, when we're done, we take a picture. We sold with Jimmy G. When you buy a home, we bought with Jimmy G. All right. The next home we're going to take a look at is 1118 Seminole Drive. You know what? I'm going to save this one for last. Uh, we're going to go instead to 9252 Rain Tree Lane. Now, these last two homes are actually both in golf course communities. So the Rain Tree community um, actually has two golf courses, the North Course and the South Course. Uh, this one is listed. All right, so this home was built in 1979, has three beds, two and a half baths, 2,800 square feet. And it's on the golf course listed for $580,000. This one's been on the market since February 19th, 2022, so 32 days on the market as of this recording. Jonathan Roberts Realty Incorporated is the listing brokerage. Golf course living on the 16th fairway of Rain Tree Golf Club, immaculate three bed, two and a half bath, breathtaking views of the lake, and 15th putting green on the south course, large one third of an acre lot, peaceful fence, yard, and a party deck. Expansive primary master or owner's bedroom suite uh, on the main level, upstairs loft, and an additional um, primary bedroom on the third or third bedroom upstairs. All right, let's zoom out and take a look at some of these pictures here. This is the front of the house. I noticed also this has um, a very large garage, a lot, very large, I'm sorry, a driveway which we'll get back to, we'll see that. This is an overhead shot of the golf course right here. They had the drone, so they had to take some good drone pictures. Here's that party deck they were talking about in the backyard, up the back of the house. Fenced yard. 
So if you have pets, if you have a dog, if you have little ones running around, the fence yard is always good. Hey, I love a blue, a teal blue door. It just stands out, it just looks nice, doesn't it? All right, beautiful uh, stone, uh, stone hearth uh, fireplace. And you got a nice, uh, solid wooden mantle. I, I love a good wooden mantle too. We had one of those growing up in my house. So you have a two-story uh, living area, great room. And you have these sliding glass doors on either side of the fireplace, looking out to the backyard and onto the golf course. Uh, really cool staircase going up to the loft up here. There's a view, you can see the backyard and the golf course through here. Very modern and minimalistic, uh, the way they've decorated this home. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, modern uh, chandelier here. All right, and you go from the hardwood floors into tile when you get into the kitchen. You've got these white granite countertops and subway tile backsplash. And I think this is white, or it might be a slight off-white off or gray. I think it's just the shadow. I think these are white cabinets. And then stainless steel appliances. Just a very clean, clean look, clean and modern look. So this house was built in 79. A lot of the homes in Raintree were built in the late 70s, early 80s. And I call them Brady Bunch homes. So if you remember, um, if you, I'm 43 years old, so I'm dating myself. Um, Brady Bunch was before my time, but as a kid, I watched a lot of episodes in syndication. So um, if you remember, the dad was an architect and he designed their house. And that was a very modern house for the 60s. Well, these homes, a lot of them remind me of the Brady Bunch style houses. But they've been, they've been updated. So, I mean, this home, you can tell, has been completely renovated. I bet if we saw pictures from when this home was first built, it would look nothing the way it does now on the inside. So this is that loft up on the second level. Hey, check it out. So they've got a drone. Uh, so they're going to throw it up there in the air and give you a shot of uptown Charlotte. So Charlotte's not too far away. You can be in the city from Ring Tree. I'd say in about, uh, about 20 minutes or so, depending on traffic. But you're not going to have that view actually from this house. It's not sitting on top of a mountain or anything. It's a large driveway, a little hooping area. And check out your neighbors live in a, a yurt. I guess you would explain, you would describe that as a yurt. So just, there's a lot of um, a lot of interesting architecture in this community. Oh, and you can see the pond over here uh, back behind the house as well. All right. I think that's pretty much it for this house. And finally, the star of the show. 1118 Seminole Drive, Fort Mill, South Carolina, 29707. All right, this one has eight bedrooms. It's over 8,800 square feet. And this one is just going to blow your mind. So it's listed for $3.95 million. So hey, let's just get at it. Beautiful home. This is actually a cabana house over here, which you're going to see next to the pool in this next picture. And... I'm just, I'm going to zoom out right now. Five and a half car garage, gorgeous cabana, basketball court, saltwater pool, hot tub, located on the golf course in Firethorn. So Firethorn uh, spans North and South Carolina. So this one's on the South Carolina side. And hey, I'm calling you any Charlotte Hornets, uh, LaMelo Ball. I know you, uh, you've got all kinds of exotic cars. So you might have more than five cars. I don't know, but you can store at least five of them here. Probably some more in the driveway as well. Here's a look at the at the back of the house with the pool. This is the front of the house. You have the driveway over here. And you can see these other homes in the cul-de-sac lot. These other homes are nice big houses. Uh, this one is just a mega house. Check out the basketball court. You got tennis, basketball, pickleball. You can play all kinds of games down there. And very private, very um very, very much surrounded by trees. And then your main outdoor living area is in the back as well. And right here off the golf course. So, hey, you can see here, uh, Queen City, off in the distance. We got those drones. We got to throw them up there. We got to show, show off and show around. All right, so here's the pool. Here's the cabana house over here. 
check that out right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the Cabana House. So this is about 25 minutes, I'd say, from uh, from uptown, depending on traffic, of course. Beautiful coffered ceilings. And I think, yeah, this is still in the Cabana House. So this is not even the main. This might be the main house. This is the main house. All right, here come here you come into the foyer, into the entryway here. What is that? Check out that design on the uh, on the walls. This is an exquisite ornate house. Again, that's probably why they're asking for close to four million dollars for it. A lot more details than you've seen in any of the other homes on this tour so far. Scrolling through. Nothing left to the imagination. No detail left undone. Just a beautiful, beautiful home. Ah, this is really cool too. So you have, um, you have a theater, stadium seating in here. So who needs to go to the movies when you can bring the movies home to you? Some more bedrooms. And this is really cool too. So this is your elevator. So your elevator goes up um, all three floors. This is a three-story home. As you can see right here, you can go up and down the steps or you can just use the elevator to get from one floor to the next. Another beautiful picture of the back of the home. And yeah, I might be cycling back through these homes, these pictures here. So folks, that is the tour. Those are five homes that I would love to sell. So you may or may not currently be in the market to purchase a home. Oh, and I'm sorry if I didn't mention, did not mention the, uh, the seller here. So eight beds, 10 bathrooms, nine and a half bathrooms, 8,800 square feet. Uh, listed by Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Carolina Realty. Uh, this one's been on the market since September 4th, 2021. Uh, here's a description of it right here, right here. Floor to ceiling windows in the family room, 150 degree views, hardwoods, three floor elevator, wine cellar, theater room with bar area, dual steam showers for the homeowner, six fireplaces, commercial kitchen appliances. All bedrooms have an ensuite bathroom. A second primary bedroom is located on the first floor with direct access to the patio. So there's your tour, folks. These are the five homes that I would love to sell. We got 3904 Spiro Way Court. Uh, in Monroe, uh, we have 8901 Claymore Glen Court in Charlotte, 6724 Fairhope Court in Charlotte, 1118 Seminole Drive in Fort Mill, South Carolina, and 9252 Rain Tree Lane in Charlotte, North Carolina. Folks, here's all the details of those homes as well. I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch these, watch this video. We're going to sign off right now, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.